If you are a blockchain developer, then definitely you're going to use storage platform for storing the data. Whether you will store NFT or digital document, if you're working on the license side, which runs on the blockchain, then you have to store those data. And in that case, you have to pick the right storage platform, which allow you to upload the data to the IPFS. So this is the question which one of you asked me He's working on a digital licensing platform, just similar to the project which we have on the channel where we are selling the digital asset license is working on a similar project. And he asked me that which is the platform he can use in his project to store the digital document and digital assets on the blockchain. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the 11 platform which help you to store your data to the IPFS because when you store any data into the contract, you store the hash of the data, but the actual data rely and upload it to the IPFS. So here I will explain 11 provider which you can use to add in your project and deploy the data. So the very first one we have is the Infura. Infura is a great platform. It was really popular. Still it's popular, but right now they have removed their free tier. So if you want to use this platform for using the IPFS, you have to take and upgrade your account, but you can't use it as a free one. But I have an alternative for all of you guys like Pinata. Pinata is super easy, super powerful, which I have explained in the project. So make sure to follow the NFT marketplace project in that I have explained you, or you can simply follow the project. Like this is the blockchain full stack in that you're going to build one of the biggest project in that we have used Pinata and we have used the Infura as well and Pinata. And the third provider we have is this Filebase. Filebase and Filebase is also a Web3 provider which allow you to store the data to the IPFS. So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is to simply connect this in the project. It's quite similar to Pinata where you can simply upload the data right from the dashboard or you can simply upload it from connecting. So this one is also a great platform for deploying your then the fourth one we have is the Kaledo. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. It's also a, one of the IPS provider which you can simply use it in your project and they have given all the explanation that what are the things you will get when you will use their platform. So they will give you Web3 providers, blockchain and services, NFT, tons of things they will give you. But the one service we want to use it IPFS. So this one is also a great platform which you can consider to use it. Now the fifth one we have is this one Flick. It's a quite interesting name, but they will give you a gateway which you can simply use to upload all the NFT. But this will not allow you to upload the heavy file. Definitely you can. They're going to charge you a little bit higher amount. So you can check this one. It's also a provider which allow you to upload your data to the IPFS. Then the next one we have is this one. It's called Forever Land. So this one is also a great platform. You can use your data to upload to the IPFS. You can go to the product section and here you will find this IPFS gateway. All you have to do is to click. You can come back here. There you will find all the details that how they are storing your data. And when you go to fetch the data, they have to do the customization. If you're using the Next.js or React, there you have to simply customize the endpoint and you can able to have the data. So that's all explanation they have given here. Then the next one we have is this one temporal.cloud so they also provide you the IPFS service which you can use to deploy your document to the IPFS and the best part is that you're going to make an RPC endpoint and you can get other providers so that's also one we have now the next one we have is this peer goes so it's also a IPFS provider so you will have a similar interface like that you can create a multiple folder in which you can keep multiple documents so you can keep one document as a as an NFT for video audio that kind of file structure you can design in your dashboard and you're going to connect with the IPFS and you can simply store all of the data into that particular one. So it's also a great one which you can keep in mind. Then we have this IPFS DAP note. It's actually a note provider, but recently they have added this IPFS repository main service. You can use their platform to simply upload the data to the IPFS and they give you free credit. It will give you the free starter, which you can use this to test. But as the number grow of the deployment, it's going to charge you limit amount then we have the next one is this ipfs cluster it's also super duper easy all you have to do is to simply install it and you can simply plug that into your project or you can simply go to the github repository where they have given you the boilerplate simply copy that one and paste then the last one we have is this nft storage as the name suggests we never store the entire nft in the contract we store the hash so you can use their platform they can store and they can store all type of nft like this is the IPFS in that you can upload any type of data, image, audio, video, PDF, any type of digital document you can store and you can get the hash and that's what you can pass into the smart contract. So these are the 11 platform which you can use again, the most preferred one in the industry as a developer point of view, as a, as a industry standard is this Infura and Pinata.
Infura, if you want to build a scalable application, then this is absolutely fine. Pinata is also good. It's free. Once you create an account, in one API endpoint, you can create 1000 NFT. So make sure to check this project in that we have used Infura and Pinata, where I've explained every single thing that what are you going to learn about the Web3 provider and what exactly happened there. So it's going to be extensive course. So now I believe that you have got your answer that how you can store your digital document on a storage platform. So we have multiple options. There are more, but these are the most prominent one and most highlight one. And so far I have worked on all of this. So, so far I have worked on all of this, not the, not in this one. I haven't worked on this, but I have worked on almost all the 10. So these are the most popular one. I would suggest you to come and have a look that will give you a better understanding because somehow or the other, when you go to work on a different application, whether it's a digital document, complaint registrar, or storing any kind of data on the blockchains, you need IPFS. And in that case, these platform plays a huge role. So hope this video helps you and you got your answer. With that, I'm ending this video. If you guys have a still any question, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to answer and I will make a video where I can provide you all the details that how you can supply navigate through that. So with that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.